There once was a boy who went over and over again into the forest. Every day he went. He went more often as time went on, and eventually left at daybreak and didn't come back until night. No matter how much his parents scolded, it did no good. Eventually his parents noticed long brown hair growing from their son's body. So they asked the boy why he spends so much time in the mountains, not even coming home to eat. The boy said, I find plenty to eat in the mountains. It is much better than the beans and corn we have here. Soon I will stay in the woods all the time and never come back. His parents begged him not to leave, but he replied, I have already begun to change. I can no longer live here. Why don't you come with me? If you fast for seven days, you will never have to worry about food. There is plenty of food for all of us. It is better there. Since the region had been experiencing hardship, food was hard to come by in the village. Now the family was a member of the Anisaguhi clan of the Cherokee. The boy's parents discussed their son's invitation amongst themselves before going to talk with the clan leader. A council was held. Afterwards the clan leader said, Here in the settlement we work hard in our gardens and don't always have enough. But the boy says there is plenty to eat. We will join the boy to live in the mountains. They fasted for seven days, and on the final morning, the Anisaguhi left their village behind as they followed the boy towards the mountains. Neighboring villages had heard of this and sent people to persuade the Anisaguhi to stay, but when the messengers arrived, they found the Anisaguhi already heading into the woods and that their bodies had started to grow long brown hair. The Anisaguhi would not return, saying, Where we are going, there is always plenty to eat. From now on, you shall call us bears. When you are hungry, come into the woods and call upon us. We shall come, and you can take us for our meat and our hides. Don't be afraid to do this, as we will live always. The Anisaguhi then taught the messengers the songs that they were to sing in order to call them. Yeah, yeah, we 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, we 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, we 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 hey. Cherokee bear hunters still use these songs today. When this was finished, the Anisaguhi continued on their way into the woods, and the messengers turned to leave. But when they turned back to look, all they saw was a group of bears wandering off into the deep forest.